because the other haven't even gotten your feet wet yet. Each time you're correct, you earn $500. You may, as you know, quit whenever you want. But if you can answer five questions correctly, you'll win your jackpot, which is now at 5000 bucks. Now, Mike, you're the captain. You know you may pass a question, but only one question per bonus game. Confer each time and determine whether you want to play or take your money. That's the idea. Y'all ready to go? Okay, here's the first bonus question. Subject is married. Which person has been married more times? Would you say Dean Martin or Michael Jackson? Confer if you would and tell me whether you want to, whether you want to play or that. Billy Jean? You, you don't have to mention... You, you, want, you want to go on? I mean, you're going to play for it. Okay, now for 500 bucks, would you say it's Dean Martin or Michael Jackson? Uh, we'll say it's Dean Martin. It is. Three times nothing for Michael Jackson. Dean's been married three times, Michael Jackson none at all. He's too busy doing all those other things. You got 500 bucks. Do you want to go for a thousand? If you miss, you'll lose what you've already won. You want to take it? What do you got? Okay. The men, the men, uh, Quinn and Jim and Mike are going on. Let's see, this is for a thousand dollars or nothing. Question Which person has been married more times? Richard Pryor or Barbara Walters? Confer. And tell me what you think your answer is. Going for a thousand or nothing. Well, you yeah, have Richard Pryor's been married before. Yeah. What about Barbara? I, I don't know about her. I, don't know. <laughs> I know she's been married, but I don't know how many times. What do you guys think? I don't know. It's up to you. Mike, you're <laughs> <up> to me. <laughs> uh, you want to pass it when you go for broke? Oh, you the coin? I better go. Okay. Okay. What do you say, Mike? Time for decision. Okay. We'll we'll play. All Have right. Would you say it's really Richard? Now, if Richard Pryor or Barbara Walters, good luck. A thousand dollars or nothing. They're not using their pass. We're gonna say Richard Pryor. I'm glad you did. Five times for Richard. <laughs> Pretty good. I'm glad you didn't lose your pass there. For the record, Barbara Walters married twice. Richard Pryor five times. And, and once to a tire, I believe. But no, no, the tire's the, the tire's the one he shot. That's something else. <laughs> Michael, do you want to take your thousand dollars and quit and quit, or do you want to go for fifteen? Oh, we came with nothing. We're high rollers. We'll go. Yeah, I'll say you got you got six thousand five hundred. No matter what happens, we'll get ready. Here's your question: Which person has been married more times? Would you say Warren Beatty or Frank Sinatra? Talk it over. Let us hear your conference. Frank Sinatra's older. Warren Beatty, he's more of a wild man. Really? Okay. Who wants to win a baby? Who wants to pass? I know he's been married. Well, uh -huh. Want to pass? How would you say? Okay. Player pass. Come on, guys. What do you want? I said. You make Okay. What the heck? We'll play. You're going to play. All right. Now, would you say it was Warren Beatty or Frank Sinatra? Oh, we'll say Warren Beatty. Warren Beatty has never been married. Oh. <laughs> Frank Sinatra four times. Oh, what do you we'll know about all times. that action? All that action for Warren Beatty, and he's never been married once. No, like you, you didn't win the jackpot either, <laughs> but if you can defeat another team when you come back, we'll add 5000 to your jackpot, and you'll be playing for 10000 bucks. We'll be back here in just a moment. Right now, I've got a word of interest for you. Okay, we're back to Hot Potato now. Our champions, our uh, Little League coaches, have $6,500. They're ready to begin a new game and uh, let you know who you're playing with. Here, gentlemen, are your opponents. Hi, I'm Bart McManus. I'm John Fulbrecht. I'm Marv Brisson. And we're Whitewater Rap Guys. Bart. You're in the captain's spot there, whitewater raft guy. That's a pretty difficult job, is it not? Oh, it's easy. Oh, Real easy. It's easy for you. <laughs> How long have you been doing it? About four years now. You take the big rubber rafts down the, uh, down the right. rapids. Huh? Eight and ten men boats. And, and who, who has the oars? You, do you control that's it? That's right. That's right. Or we have paddle boats, too, where everybody has to work that's on the boat. Uh -huh. And they pretty much follow your direction. Yeah. Is it easy? Most of the time. Easy, you say? Yeah, it is. You get everybody together, they do a great job. It's a lot of fun. Ever, ever flipped over? Uh, I haven't personally, but I know a, a couple of guys who have. <laughs> he says, oh, that, 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 part, that gives me an opportunity to pose the question to you, John. Have you ever flipped? Uh, uh, ref, that is. <laughs> yeah. I think back in 78, there was one time. And you came up, of course, everyone was saved. Everybody was saved, no injuries, nobody was hurt, and uh, we just flipped the raft back over and kept going back down the river. How about you, Marv? 
Well, I'm the uh, senior statesman uh -huh. in terms of uh, going over. How many times? Twice. Congratulations, Thank Mark. You. You're, yeah. you're winning head down or hands down. Uh, you know what's going to happen. The Little League coaches and the RAF guys, coaches are in control. We always begin with our champions. Everybody listen to the question. America's favorite fast food is the hamburger. But how do you like to dress up that particular burger? Now, we asked the Burger King chain for the list of the seven items most often added to a hamburger. We want you to name them, beginning with Quinn. Quinn, it's up to you. You're going to answer or challenge one of our guides? I'm going to answer. Give me I'll, one. I'll say mustard. Mustard is right. There's a right answer on the board. Okay. For the record, I don't know the answers to these either. I get a right or wrong signal as it's delivered. Jim, what do you say? Answer or challenge? Uh, oh, I'll answer. Going to keep the hot potato. Hit me with an answer, please. Uh, how about ketchup? Ketchup is right, and we have two right answers on the board. Okay, Mike, you, you, have the, you have the ball or the hamburger right now. What do you want to do with it? I think I'll play, Bill. Here and comes another one. I'll say pickles. Pickles is correct. That's another right answer. Okay, Quinn, we're back to you. We have uh, three consecutive correct answers. Our seventh straight jackpot, we're starting over. It's at $1,000. Our little league coaches won it last time. What do you want to do, Quinn? I'm going to play, and I'll say onions. Onions is right again, and we have four on the board. Yeah. We're going to go, huh? So you've answered four straight, answer all seven without giving up control. You win the jackpot, seven straight jackpot, which is now at $1,000. Here are the answers we've had so far, everybody. Mustard, ketchup, Pickle and onion. Jim, you're up. Uh, how about uh, tomatoes? Quick answer. He says tomatoes. It's right, and we have five right answers. Fellas, right. well, I hope it gets to you sooner or later. Mike, you're up. There, we only need two more right answers. You know, you have three opponents. So, which way do you want to go? I think I'll try an answer, and I'll say lettuce. Lettuce is right again, and we have six right answers on the board. Look where we are. We only need one more right answer from the Little League coaches for them to win the game. Incidentally, in addition to winning the game, you'll also pick up that seven straight jackpot if you get this one for an additional thousand bucks. So this is for the round and for the game. What do you want to do, Quinn? I'm going to play. You're going to take a chance going I'm for everything. A it's a $2,000 answer. I, All that's right. why I have to go. <laughs> and I'm going to say a secret sauce. Secret sauce is wrong, oh. Quinn. You must go sit on the bench now. There are two. Well, welcome back to the game, gentlemen. Gee, these guys eat a lot of hamburgers. They sure do. <laughs> While you're upsetting in rafts, they're out stuffing themselves. The question again. The uh, seven uh, items most often added to a hamburger. We've already had six. We need one more answer for a win. And you are up, Bart, so what do you want to do? One more right answer will win you this round. Okay. Um, oh, you can challenge. Um, I'll say uh, mustard. Mustard is a repeat. Give me another okay. one. Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise is right, and you've won the round. Congratulations. Okay. Everybody back down. Pretty good. Pretty good right now. So the, the raft, look what happened. The, uh, our little league uh, coaches started out, got six in a row in a big hurry, and finally with one shot at it, Bart, you got the one right answer, and you now lead the game one round to nothing. And, of course, you are in control, too. We'll be back to pick it up right here in just a moment. But we're going to pause and ask you to watch this clip. Welcome back to Hot Potato. Little League uh, coaches have $6,500. RAF guys have just been introduced, but they won the first round. So they're leading in this game. They're in control now. We'll begin with you in a moment, Bart. First, I'll read the question for everybody, though. The Davis Research people asked people across the nation to name the sexiest series currently on television. We're looking for seven of the ten most often mentioned primetime shows. The criterion is the sexiest. That's what we're looking for. So, Bart, I don't know what you know about television or that other subject, but what do you want to do? You want to keep the hot potato or throw it over there? Um... What say you, Bart? Well, I'm going to have to pass the hot potato. I'm just drawing a blank oh, right now. Oh, that's all right. Look, who are you going to pass to? Uh, I think I'll pass to Quinn. Quinn, uh, you got it, Quinn. Now, name a sexiest. Okay. Well, I'll yeah. say Dynasty. Dynasty is right. You have a right one on the board. Oh, dynasty. 
Dynasty is not only number, uh, not only sexiest, but it is number one of all the sexy shows. The coaches have regained control. Bart, we'll have to ask you to go sit on the bench for okay. Go sit on our wrap, Bart. All right, okay. I assure you it won't tip. I couldn't bet on that. Jim, how about you? Do you want to answer or do you want to challenge? Sure, I'll answer. Uh, okay. How about uh, Dallas? Dallas is another. We have two right answers on the board. Well, we well done, men. Dynasty was number one. Dallas is number two. You gave them in that order. Mike, it's up to you. What's your choice? Uh, I'm in a hole. Okay. I think I'm going to have to pass to okay. John. John, you've been challenged to stay in the game. You have to come up with one of the right answers. So now it's up to you to see what you can do. Uh, <clears throat> I like to say Falcon Crest. Falcon Crest is right. Congratulations, John. Two challenges. You did, Mike. Go sit on the bench. Mike sits on the bench, which is not a bad place for a baseball coach. Congratulations, John. You got a right answer. There are three on the board. You won control for your team. And Marv, it's to you now. What do you want to do? Answer or toss the hot potato their way? I think I'll throw an answer out. All right, here uh, comes Marv's answer. Sexiest series on television. Knott's Landing. Knott's Landing is another one. We have four on the board. Well done. So far, we've had Dynasty, Dallas, Falcon Crest, and Knott's Landing. And, John, you've got some thinking time. Have you come up with an answer, or do you want to toss a challenge? I'll come up with an answer. Here comes John's <clears throat> answer, going for the fifth right answer. I'm going to guess uh, Hill Street Blues. That's a good guess. It's right. <laughs> good guess. That, that, that one surprised me. I didn't think that was it. But uh, my little right button lit, and when my right button lits, no one can hold me. So right now, we only need two more right answers. Marv, it's up to you. That would give you the round and the game. What do you want to do, Marv? I think I'm going to answer. He's going for the sixth answer. I'm going to say uh, the fall guy. The fall guy is wrong, Marv. Marv, that puts you out of the game if you'll go join Bart back there on the bench. Well, congratulations, fellas. That worked out well for you. Uh, control passes to the coaches. Quinn will be with you in a moment. Now, you have one opponent left. We've had Dynasty, Dallas, Falcon Crest, Knott's Landing, Hill Street Blues. We need two more right answers. You have one opponent left. You can win either way. Okay. I'm going to say Hotel. Hotel is wrong and that knocks you out of the game go sit back there with mike hey that's a break for you john i don't know how well he would have done if he'd come up with a challenge you have one opponent over there we need two more right answers you can either give me a right answer which gets you halfway to your goal that way or you can challenge and if you knock jim out that's the ground and the game for you what do you want to do i'm going to challenge Okay. Throw the hot potato to Jim. It is up to you now, Jim, for the round and for the game. If you, uh, if you miss this one, this is for the round. If you come up with it, you will eliminate your opponent. If you miss it, you're eliminated. And it's the round and the game. So what do you say? Big well, I guess I'll have to go for uh, maybe a female sex symbol. How about Magnum P.I.? Is right. And, uh, literally, first round of the round. Come on down, gang. Very good. Very good. Congratulations. Boy, you were, you, were teetering, you were teetering on the brink there, Jim. Had you missed it, you would have lost not only the round, but the game. But with only one opponent left by coming up with the right answer, you eliminated him and won the round, and now we have a tie game. Let me read the rest of the answers, which come up on my little magic board. The ones not mentioned, Cheers, believe it or not. Cheers, Matt Houston. Uh-huh. Remington Steel. And Three's Company. Those, in addition to the answers you gave, the sexiest shows on television. Isn't that interesting? None of my shows were included there. <laughs> interesting, and it's rather discouraging. We'll be back here in just a moment. Right now, we're going to pause while we get our second guest. Our RAF guys have, uh, RAF guy, guide guys have <laughs> won around, and our little league coaches have won around, so either team could win with this one. Control passes back to our champions, who uh, are not only champions, but have $6,500. Quinn, I'll begin with you as soon as I read the question. Everybody listen, please. There are eight cars currently made in America which are named after animals. 
I'm talking about the entire animal kingdom, I assume. They're named after animals. Can you name seven? All right, we're beginning with you, Quinn. What do you want to do to start? This is the rubber round, as it were. The team which wins this round wins the game. Quinn, your choice. Okay, I'll say the Mustang. The Mustang is one of them, and you have a right answer on the board. Okay. Jim, we need six more right answers. You have three opponents. You're going to answer. You're going to toss the hot potato to the raft guys. Uh, I'll answer. How about a, a bobcat? A bobcat is wrong. Wrong. I'm sorry about that. Would you kindly go and sit on the bench, please? And the control passes back to our raft guides. Bart, you're up. We have one right answer. What was it? Mustang. Was it not? Yeah. Well, I'm going to try to redeem myself after that last game, and uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to give an answer, and I'm going to say a cougar. A cougar is absolutely right, and we have two right. You uh, should indeed redeem yourself, Bart. How about you, John? Um, I'd like to give an answer. Okay. My answer is the uh, lynx. The lynx is correct. We have three right answers. <laughs> oh, boy, miss, missing that one and losing control might have been your undoing, gentlemen. We'll see in a moment. Uh, Marv, you're up. What do you want to do? You can answer or you can challenge, as you know. We've had three answers so far. Uh, I'll answer. Here comes our fourth. Uh, Dodge Colt. Colt. Incorrect. Another wrong answer. Marv, if you'll okay, you go guys. sit on the do bench. It, you guys. Well, little league coaches, you were lucky. It got back to you. Mike, your team has now regained control. Let me recap. There are three right answers on the board. We need four more right answers. You have two opponents. You can win either of two ways, by giving the seventh answer or... Knocking out the other team. What do you want to do, I'm Mike? sorry, Bill. Can you please read the question? There was a key word in there. Uh, there are eight cars currently. I think that's the key word. Currently made in America, which are named after animals. We have Mustang, Cougar, and Lynx. I think currently oh. is the key word you were thinking. Made in America is key, too. Uh-huh. Oh, yes. Made in America. Oh. And currently. Good. And cars, for that matter. <laughs> <laughs> animals, too. But you want to carry it right down to the... However, be that as it may, Mike, well, I, I do digress, and I didn't mean to take you. I, 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 I want you to know you can either answer, you can challenge, or you can hit me in the nose. Can I go to the bathroom? You, you may go to the bathroom, yes. <laughs> Come back here. All right, all right, what do you want to do, Mike? Uh, I'm, I know it's going to be wrong if I say it, so I'm going to have to pass. All right. And I'll pass to Big Bart. Big Bart, you have it. In order to stay in the game, Big Bart, you have to come up with an answer. If you do come up with an answer, he can go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I like four-wheel drives, so I'm going to answer this by saying Eagle. Eagle is right. Go to the bathroom, Mike. I know you can go back there. Eagle is the right answer. We, so far, we have Mustang, Cougar, Lynx, and Eagle. You only have one opponent over there, John. You're up. You, you, we need three more right answers, or you can win by knocking the other team out. What's your choice, John, old boy? I think I'm gonna jump to an answer and say the rabbit. The rabbit is wrong. And John, that knocks you out of the game. So if you will go sit over there, back to the little league coaches. Quinn, you are all by yourself. And so is Bart. So you can do it two ways. You can give me an answer and stay in the game. That wouldn't end it. Or you can challenge Bart, and if he misses, eliminate him. If he gets it, you're eliminated. So it's some time to think. Let's see. I would say the... Good answer? Oh. You don't have to. I mean, you can. Which do you want to do? I think I'm going to have to pass to Bart. Bart, it's up to you. Let me, let me state what, where we are now, Bart. Okay. Come up with the right answer. You knock out your opponent, and by virtue of that, you win the round in the game. Miss, and you are knocked out, and by virtue of that, they win the round in the game. Boy, is this a big one. Good luck. Um... Although I don't, I don't have an answer. Give, give me something, because, it, it, you know, no answer is a wrong answer. But, uh, lynx? Lynx is a repeat. You can try another. Until, uh, the, until the time runs out. Uh, three that's seconds. It. I just, I don't have an answer. I'll wait the three seconds. They're obligatory. Time is up. And the Little League coaches have one another. Come on. Come on, guys. <laughs> don't feel badly about it, Bart. It was tough. Damn, man. For what it's worth, I didn't have any answer either. Congratulations, man. Let me reveal the answers. Here they are. The Firebird, the Impala, the Skylark, and the Thunderbird. We'll be back here in a moment. Right now, we have a word for you. Goodbye. See you next time on Hot Potato. Bye.
Western audience will receive a service merchandise gift certificate. Famous brand name items, select from our 500-page catalog or redeem at one of our showrooms furnished by service merchandise. Some of our parting contestants will receive the Bissell Double Action Floor Sweeper. Snaps up dirt and litter off carpets and bare floors. Great for quick pickups between vacuuming furnished by Bissell. A generous supply of Kentucky Fried Chicken. It's tender and juicy bite after bite. At Kentucky Fried Chicken, we do chicken right. The Amelia Pasta, imported from Italy. Delicious pasta made the way it was meant to be from 100% semolina and Durham wheat. Tonight, the stars come out to salute this summer's Olympics with Tom Selleck, Brooke Shields, Robin Williams, Diane Cannon, the Charlie Daniels Band, Bob Hope, Charlton Heston, Jane Fonda, Alex, Ali, Muhammad Ali, Wayne Newton, Gladys Knight, Debbie Allen, and more. It's a three-hour extravaganza tonight. Weeknight, watch NBC Nightly News with Tom Brokaw. Be there. Hot! Potato is a very amazing production.